Hi, I'm Heather Sherwood, and we're here in the English Wall Garden, and I want to talk to you about Lycoris scromigerii, otherwise known as naked lady lilies, or surprise lilies, or resurrection lilies, and that's what these are right here. They're a member of the Amaryllis family, and their nickname, the resurrection lily, or the naked lady lily, um, is because they pop out of the ground in late July or early August, and there's no leaves to cause any clutter, and that's why they're kind of called the surprise lilies. Um, you can see them down in this little hole that this is the stalk that's just coming up with absolutely no other leaves around them. In the springtime, the leaves come up and they look exactly like a daffodil leaf. And so a lot of times people think they're daffodils in the springtime with no flowers, but when actually they're the surprise lilies and pop at the beginning of August. They're fabulous in the shade. They're great around hostas. They last about two to three weeks and they multiply like crazy if left alone. They're a great bulb to put in your garden for a little later season pop, and they look great against the clematis and give a two season bloom. The Lycoris squamidrae bulbs are great also because no insects or pests really bother them. No chipmunks eat them, no uh, deer eat them uh, because they're in the Amaryllis family. And also, resurrection lilies don't really like being moved too often, so a lot of times uh, you'll see resurrection lilies coming out of uh, old homestead properties or something like that. Uh, and they're always a surprise in that fashion, hence the name. And you can also see down here at the bottom that we have five stalks coming out of one spot. This is how they multiply, and left alone, they do really well like that. If you have a tendency to move things a lot, they don't really like being moved too much, so sometimes they won't even send up flowers or shoots. Two to three years later, they will because they were moved. They're fabulous bulbs that don't get eaten by much, and they're awesome at the end of July and beginning of August.